I saw you tweet out yesterday at PFF underscore Ben Brown, the PFF war for non quarterbacks, some of the most impactful play players in the league, which uh, some names popped that were kind of surprising. And uh, I'm sure they were surprising to you as you were going over the top of the list. Uh, what are a couple of takeaways that really stood out? And is it kind of, is it telling a story about what we're seeing in 2022? Yeah, so it is very much, I would say, you know, a, a volume specific metric that kind of drives our PFF war. So guys that do have high target shares, you know, at, at the wide receiver position like Cooper Cup. And I think, you know, one guy that a lot of people were surprised to make the list, Michael Pittman and Marquise Brown, they are kind of, they were at least kind of dominating the team target share from a targets perspective. I think maybe that's a little bit uh, overvalued in our specific calculation, but uh, they were definitely surprised to see near the top. And I think also, you know, there's there's a reason why you know people kind of downgrade the guard position uh but cleveland's been you know so strong uh along the interior of their front through you know their, their interior of their offensive line as well that those guys kind of get boosted up a little bit but it's still you know a really small uh number of games in order to kind of derive this calculation this is basically the first point you know uh at the season that we really start to calculate it through the first six weeks of the season so i think it's gonna get a little bit more you know sussed out and you know uh more accurate as we continue to get more data but yeah i think you know the, the receivers at the bottom marquise brown and michael pittman i think were you know pretty shocking results i would say for everybody a lot at least as far as kind of getting into that top 10 but it is very much you know a volume based stat based on the targets that they're receiving